It's going to take a third player on the other team at some point to help. We kept Brooke lifted. We kept saying at some point. We kept saying at some point someone's going to leave Brooke. And they finally did, and Brooke made the shot. Uh, Malik made a shot, Pat. So it was really nice. Uh, Coach over here, um, obviously Giannis and Dame are, you know, great all-time scorers, but what is it like when you're able to get double-digit assists from both of them in a one night? Yeah, back-to-back games. Like, they're, they, they are very unselfish. Um, they know that they're in the action, but they know it's a team action, you know. So um, they're just making the simple pass to the open guy. Uh, Doc, just the three that Dame hits when he comes and runs back. Just what do you think of the patience from both guys that in that two-man game to get to that, that last action? one was great because they went one, two, almost swung it, and you could see it coming. Um, you know, of course, there's very few people that can make the shot, and and Dame can. Can you just speak on the energy that uh, Pat Bev brought tonight, and what has he been brought, bringing to this team since he first uh, got there as well? What you just said, you know, great energy, um, instigator. Today he committed a lot of fouls too, you know, which is fine. Like, we want him to be physical. We want him to uh, – I thought the pressure he put on James tonight was, was phenomenal for our team. It, it helped us get back in it, so it's good for us. I've seen the first game that he was uh... – you know, basically, just like I said, trying to coach and things, and they're yeah. helping guys out. You know, how has guys uh, accepted that? You know, oh, he's been great. You know, like everybody does it. You know, I think Giannis grabbed the board today. Like we want guys, uh, they see they're on the floor. I always tell our guys, you're on the floor. If you see something, show me. Let me see it. And a lot of our guys do it. They're starting to do it. Uh, they've been scared to grab the board, so now they're not. Yeah. Uh, just defensively, that two-man game that they had going with Harden and Zubac was yeah. a, a bit of a problem for you. What did you see to get it under control? Like? Well, we switched. We put Giannis on them, on whoever went up, and then he switched and it became a you know ISO game for them once that happened. That's what we wanted. This is the best group, but uh, you ruined it. Ruined it. Go ahead. Can you talk about Bees' impact on defense tonight? Yeah, he's great. You know, he's been good. Um, you know, much better this time than in, in Milwaukee. Um, I, he didn't understand what we were trying to get him to do in Milwaukee. Tonight he did. Um, he denied a lot. You know, we tried to deny James the ball, make someone else bring it up. I thought Bees did that for the entire game. And then just how crucial was Dame taking over in the fourth quarter, 16 points total for him? Yeah, I think Dame and Giannis. I just think the combination, you know, I don't even look at them as one. You know, I think the combination of them is what creates all the action. Coach, what do you think about as far as you being appointed? How are you doing, by the way? By the, thank you it for asking. It's phenomenal you. seeing you. Yeah. It's great to be here to see you. Congratulations all on of your selection here. Uh, what, what do you think as far as being appointed in this position as the head coach? of uh, Milwaukee. What is your philosophy and the thrust going forward? Well, the philosophy is win. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I mean, that's why you, you jump into something like this. Uh, but it was with the right group of guys, honestly. Um, again, I keep using the words adults, uh, very mature, and, and at a place where they all want to win. Um, it, if we can get it right, which I think we will, I believe that, then we're going to be very tough to beat.